Brain Sync, a sound approach to conscious evolution. To experience the effects of this extraordinary technology, stereo headphones are required. And now, Kelly Howell. In each of us dwells an infinite power, the root of the universe. Virtually every religious tradition and culture reveres this divine cosmic power because when it awakens in the individual, they have a direct spiritual experience of their divine self. This primordial cosmic power is Kundalini, which is within us and around us always. Swami Muktananda once said that when the inner Kundalini is awake, it turns us inward to our soul and to our source, the divine. It offers an opportunity to uncover who we are, where we come from, and where our home is. It is the beginning of the spiritual journey that enables us to experience the inner spiritual world. If you're new to the concept of Kundalini, you're probably wondering, what is it? What happens when it awakens? Is it dangerous? Will I become enlightened? How will I know that it's awakening? Will it change my life? To help you get the most out of this program, We'll address these and other frequently asked questions about Kundalini. On track two are instructions on how to correctly perform the breathing and chakra opening techniques, which you'll want to listen to before practicing the meditation. And on track three is the guided meditation. To begin, Kundalini is the ancient Sanskrit word that literally means, she who is coiled. Kundalini is the primordial cosmic energy in every individual which lies coiled like a serpent at the base of the spine. It exists in two modes. One is actual and the other is potential. When this energy is aroused, even partially, we open up to higher levels of creativity, inspiration, and well-being. It's widely believed that all talents, creativity, and mystical experiences are based on the activation of kundalini energy. Gopi Krishna, who attained a state of enlightenment and wrote extensively about the kundalini experience, said, every person who is a psychic, a genius, or an enlightened sage has an awakened kundalini to a greater or lesser extent. Kundalini is also called Shakti, which is the highest power available in our cosmos. In India, Shakti is worshipped as the supreme goddess. Shakti creates the universe and is the universe. Today, scientists are studying this mysterious energy, so we now know a lot more about it. According to many experts, Kundalini is responsible for animating all the unconscious activities of the autonomic nervous system, such as the heartbeat and the breath. Kundalini is already awake, alive, and running through our bodies because it is the life force energy that makes our heart beat and breathes our breath. But when we contact the inner Kundalini through spiritual practice, such as meditation, some of this power is transferred from the unconscious activities of the, of the nervous system to conscious awareness. As the inner kundalini awakens, the energy uncoils from its home at the base of the spine and travels up through the chakra system, cleansing and purifying the entire being. When it reaches the pineal gland, it feeds the brain activating higher levels of awareness, intelligence, and creativity. 
When Kundalini fully awakens, it's called samadhi, or enlightenment. But it's rare for Kundalini to fully awaken without many years of practice and preparation. However, most people who meditate regularly have mystical experiences arising from Kundalini. As you practice this meditation daily, more and more Shakti will be available to you. You'll discover many enlightening experiences, because when Shakti awakens, even if only partially, she brings profound gifts that will enhance your entire life. Because kundalini experiences are often very powerful and mysterious, there is a natural tendency to fear what we do not know. When people have spontaneous kundalini experiences, it's difficult to find someone to talk to about them, let alone explain what's happening. This confusion is often translated into fear. The great mass of pure creative energy that is kundalini, resides within you and is already a natural part of your being. If you approach this magnificent power with reverence and respect, there is nothing to fear. Dr. Lee Sinella, one of the foremost clinical researchers of kundalini, says, the pathway of kundalini can be blocked anywhere along its upward trajectory. We can look upon these blockages as stress points. Thus, in its ascent, the kundalini causes the central nervous system to throw off stress. When kundalini encounters these blocks, it works away at them until they are dissolved. As kundalini makes its ascent towards the brain, it dissolves inner and outer obstacles to experiencing more of our untapped potential. Allowing kundalini to transmute this karmic debris will free your life of many unpleasant circumstances and personal patterns. If in your meditation an emotionally charged memory or concern comes into awareness, This is an opportunity to clear it. You can ask for the issue to be healed and transformed. When you sincerely surrender your problems to Shakti, transformation is inevitable. There are a number of ways in which you'll know that Kundalini is awakening. We'll touch upon the most common signs But keep in mind that your experience of kundalini will be very unique to you. We'll start with your physical body, because the body is intrinsically involved in the kundalini experience. A common sensation is feeling waves of energy moving like a tide up and down your spine, or even from head to toe. You might notice tingling sensations as the Shakti begins to enliven and awaken your cells. It doesn't matter if you feel Shakti pouring down from above your head or rising up from your toes. Be open to simply feeling the energy wherever it travels in your body and in whatever direction it appears to move. Sometimes your whole body can shimmer with energy. Or you might notice a delicate, buzzing vibration at different chakra points. These sensations might seem odd, but they are usually deeply pleasurable. Another unusual physical sensation that can occur is a sudden jolt of energy as the stronger current of Shakti clears through energetic blocks in your system. These little jolts are not unpleasant, If this happens, don't be alarmed. In time, the current will smooth out and your nervous system will grow accustomed to holding more Shakti. Another way to know that Kundalini is awakening is through the emotional body. Feelings of love, profound gratitude, and an overwhelming sense of awe or wonderment 
are clear signals that the life-giving energy of Kundalini is moving through your body. As Kundalini travels up the spine towards the brain, it activates the pineal gland and begins to open the third eye. This opening can take many forms within your meditation experience and also in your daily life. In meditation, you might have vivid sensations of light, both within and without, or you might sense that you are in close proximity to a celestial being or divine presence. A brilliant, life-changing realization can suddenly burst into your mind, or you can contact a fountain of knowledge that can continue to unfold for days or even, even years after the initial contact. In your daily life, you may discover that after a few months, something very important in the physical world actually shifts in a positive direction. Or you might find that a repeated behavior, physical complaint, addiction, or habitual worry falls away. At the very least, you'll notice heightened levels of creativity, greater clarity of thought, and enhanced states of well-being. With all this said, it's important not to strive towards attaining any of these experiences. The solitary goal of meditation is to train the mind into deep silence. It is from the matrix of a quiet mind, a mind devoid of thoughts, the kundalini emerges. This takes practice, patience, and dedication. The great Sufi poet Hafiz wrote a poem called The Still Cup. For God to make love, for the divine alchemy to work, the pitcher needs a still cup. Why ask Hafiz to say anything more about your most vital requirement? The brainwave frequencies on this program will help slow down your brain activity and your thought processes. But you'll also need to pay attention to when your mind wanders away from the meditation and gently bring it back. This is where your work will bring immeasurable rewards. As Shakti feeds your brain, your life will flourish. It is often said that when Kundalini awakens in your body, whatever you desire and need comes to you. This is very true because Kundalini burns away old karmic patterns that have hindered our ability to express our gifts and fully enjoy life. As you learn to quiet your mind, you'll cultivate more Shakti. This will bring newfound creativity and vitality. You'll feel inspired and you'll inspire others. All this positive energy naturally brings grace and blessings into your life. When the goddess of creation is alive and running through your body, she creates incredible beauty. From this fertile ground of being, what you need will come to you with deep magic and mystery that the conscious mind could never plan. When you practice this meditation, choose a time and place when you will not be disturbed. Turn off your phone and create a peaceful environment. If you're new to meditation, choose the same time and place to practice so your body grows accustomed to the meditation as if it were a habit, like waking, eating, or sleeping. Even if you've never meditated before, the Theta Brainwave frequencies provided on this program will support you in quieting mental activity and entering Theta. Extensive biofeedback research has revealed that Theta Brainwave activity provides the matrix from which mystical experience and higher creativity arise. The technology used on this program is very precise. 
So to experience the brainwave entrainment effect, listen with headphones. Silencing the mind, turning off the mental motor, allows the inner kundalini to emerge. Our busy thoughts often override and control our inner state of being. When the mind is quiet, truly quiet, Shakti begins to move through the body. So the first step in awakening the inner kundalini begins when you let your thoughts quiet down and move into a calm, centered space where the kundalini can flow freely. Your position for meditation is also important. The main instruction here is to find a position where you are both comfortable and your spine is straight. This allows your natural channels of energy to open up and flow freely. You can either sit on the floor cross-legged or sit in a chair with your feet flat on the floor and your palms facing up on your lap. You can also use a pillow as support behind your back. If it's difficult for you to sit, lay down flat on your back with a rolled towel or pillow under your knees, but be careful not to fall asleep during the meditation. In all these positions, let your palms face upward with the tips of your thumb and index finger gently touching. To assist you in reaching a state of calm serenity, we'll be using controlled breathing techniques known as pranayama. Prana means life force, and ayama means expansion or magnification. Pranayama will help quiet the mind and expand your life force energy. When you are able to quiet the restless wandering of your mind, Shakti will begin to feed your brain with newfound psychic energy. The first breathing technique in this meditation is ocean breath. It is called ocean breath because the sound resembles the distant rolling of the ocean. Practice along with the instructions. Inhale deeply through your nose, and when you exhale, open your mouth and pretend that you are fogging a mirror with your breath. Hear the sound? Inhale deeply, then fog the mirror when you exhale. Now, inhale, but close your mouth while you continue to fog the mirror as you exhale. Notice how you can make the same sound with your mouth closed. Keep the same muscles contracted as you inhale. The inhales and exhales are long, deep, and slow. Keep the breath smooth by connecting the inhales and the exhales. You can make this breath loud or soft. Find a balance that feels comfortable to you. If at any time during the meditation your mind is wandering, use ocean breath to drown out the sounds of a busy mind. The next Kundalini Yoga breathing technique is called breath of fire. It is a rapid, rhythmic, and continuous breath that sounds like powerful sniffing. <laughs> to perform this technique, you inhale and exhale rapidly through your nose without pausing. The key here is to use the navel point as a pump, almost like, like using your abdomen as a bellows. The inhale and exhale are equal length and usually occur two to three times per second. Practice along with the sound of the breath. Imagine your abdomen is a bellows. Pull your navel back towards your spine with a rapid pumping motion. Remember, with this breath, that the pumping action comes from quickly pulling your navel in towards your spine to push the breath out on the exhale and then letting go briefly while you inhale. 
We will only be practicing this breath for two minutes at one time. It's a very powerful technique. But if at any point you begin to feel strain, breathlessness, or pain, stop breath of fire, relax, and breathe normally. The next practice is called the root lock, which is an ancient technique used by yogis to open the flow of kundalini. The root lock is located at your first chakra at the base of the spine. To engage this lock, inhale deeply, and as you exhale, gently contract and draw in the sphincter muscles and all the small muscles around the pubic bone. This is a subtle contraction. It is not necessary to strain. Isolate these muscles without tensing the thighs and buttocks. Inhale, exhale normally, gently engage the root lock. Hold it and visualize the energy moving up the spine and let go. Inhale, exhale, engage the lock, see the energy moving up your spine and release. Inhale, exhale, engage the lock, hold it, see the energy moving up your spine, and release. The last instruction given here is to to always approach your meditation practice with reverence. Do not try to force Kundalini to awaken. Instead, Invite Shakti to come forth and trust that this divine energy will grace your life in perfect order and at the perfect time. Close your eyes and begin to breathe slowly and deeply. Take care that your spine is straight. This allows your natural channels of energy to open, open up and flow freely. devoting this time to align your entire being with the divine source of the universe, the infinite, all-knowing, all-loving power that is within you and around you always. depths of your heart, sincerely offer your problems, worries, and concerns to the divine source. Surrender all your fears, needs, and desires. Surrender it all to Shakti. Rest in the feeling that you don't need to do it all that there is an infinite power that you can count on to guide you and fulfill
fulfill your deepest needs.
energy and tension. Oh, no. 
and aligning you with your deepest intentions. Soothing whirlpools of energy spiral through your solar plexus, illuminating and expanding the core of yourself.
imagine that waves of love are flowing up from the earth, entering your body, bringing you everything you need and desire. Absorb this love. Rest in the feeling of being fully supported and nourished.
the vast and infinite energy from the earth fountains up through your spine, reaching upward high above your head to the highest source of love and wisdom. of creation, a shower of brilliant light pours down upon you. and purify your mind, your heart, and your body. 